So, uh, hello and uh, everyone. Uh, in this uh, AWS uh, Restart program, I just want to demonstrate about this uh, cafe activity over you that is uh, creating a website on S3. I'll quickly explore this one uh, and also I will uh, show you the demonstration part. Okay. So, first of all, let me start the lab. Before that, uh, I'll, I'll start the lab and then I'll also explain about uh, the scenario about the scenario what is really needed okay the start lab is here it will meanwhile get through so what is exactly needed is that the activity create an amazon s3 bucket okay the object of this lab okay is under creation and then we will also learn about of course iam is not mandated and it's not functional here we will try to uh, go through that and upload your s3 uh, to host a simple website. So finally, we will be seeing a, a website which is created under S3. So create a batch file that can be used to update your static website and changes this thing. So here we have several objectives, run AWS CLI commands, deploy a static website, create a script that uses your CLI to copy all the local repository to S3. Yes, so already I have initiated this uh, lab start. It should be going. So the task one, the task one is basically once you get into, so you can open this AWS. Uh, in that, you will see a Windows uh, Amazon Linux instance. Okay, just log into Windows instance using SSH, and then also task two, uh, just configure your CLI, configure your CLI on that instance. So once you configure your CLI, you can create a bucket using this AWS CLI. From that, we will learn about how to that, how to do that from the documentation also. So here, this is the documentation. I'll explore about the documentation uh, from the site which is there. So, and also this task four, uh, let us go through, even though this is not mandated, you can go through how to create an, a new IAM user using this uh, uh, SL, uh, CLI. And also extract the files you needed for this activity, which can be copied to the, uh, I mean, S3 bucket. So using the following commands. So once this is done, I think you will be seeing the endpoint of the website. So this endpoint is nothing but your website. You can see that the website is hosted. So this is all about the task which we need to perform. Okay, let us wait till the lab is getting ready. Once the lab is ready, we will log in into the Windows SSH. Okay, so okay, my lab is ready. I'll just click AWS uh, so that uh, a new tab will be opened. Okay, so also, I'll go into these details and show, uh, you can also see some important things is that you can download your PPK keys where you can access your server. Okay, leave this. <clears throat> so what you can do uh, is go to your EC2, log into the EC2 first. That is the task number one. In this task one, you can see one instance is CLI host is ready. So just tick that and you can see this public IP address. So I'll just run this putty and say run, okay, copy the public address, okay, and also uh, just say in connection, make it 30, auth, you can browse your, uh, what you call as your keys, which is, uh, which I just downloaded in red and say open, you should be able to connect to is to user. Right. And parallelly, I will also do one more thing is that I'll just duplicate this one and open S3 just for our demonstration. Okay. So let us see that there are no buckets as of now. Right. Leave this. Okay. Yeah, we don't have any buckets. You can go through this buckets. Uh, uh, the sick page nothing is there leave it so now uh, already i have logged in so this ends my second first task second task is that i need to configure cli on this host so i'll say aws configure okay so it asks for your access key id so here this is my access key id you just say copy right it is asking for secret access key Right, 
default region name just provide only the thing which has been provided right control c say enter and uh, you can say json yeah so now this is uh, configured completely configured you can say uh, if you want to say man aws it should work no manual entry for aws or so aws hyphen hyphen help should work yeah or aws help absolutely it is working it's working so you can also say aws s3 ls so it will list out any buckets which are there there are no buckets and it's not showing anything so your task number two is done you can i'll scroll down task two is done so now let us create an s3 bucket using this cli so for this he has given an aws uh, documentation uh, s3 api so he has given some prerequisites you need to have this aws s3 api create bucket and also create bucket configuration location constraint equal to us hyphen west 2 let us explore which one I, I mean how to create a bucket okay so you see this one create bucket right you click this particular one explore this is how we need to go through the documentation even though there are several options please go through this documentation i'll take an example of how to create this bucket so here uh, this is to create a bucket uh, owner enforced uh, various example here you have uh, outside bucket region so i'll just copy this particular one this should match my uh, sample and say notepad but our requirement is to create in us okay us uh, west 2 see this one us west 2 our region is us west 2 i'm just changing that i'll show you okay go to workbench okay you see this us west 2 and also the bucket name should have something like this your name with three characters something like that okay so what i do i'll re i'll remove of this my bucket and say maybe alan ke one two three okay this bucket should be unique across almost all the aws infrastructure so this is my command okay this is my command which we should satisfy the task three you must add specify a region yes i have let me run this command exactly on my configured cli so i run this yeah the bucket is created you can see this aws s3 ls whether the bucket has been created it has been created yes one two three you can also refresh whether the bucket is created or not yes so this completes our task number three so task number four this you can eliminate this one i think the, this iam user is not being created but still i can show you okay this is the step of how you can create an iam user so it is giving an error message i think there is something which needs to be figured out the user with uh, s3 cannot be found even though when we are creating the user leave that so but this is not going to distract our what we call as the website creation so here task number five extract the files for our uh, website creation uh, static website creation on our uh, what we call as uh, uh, s3 website so here i get the files yes the files are ready you can see all these files so these are all the files css files images index.ht now we need to upload all these files into this bucket as of now nothing is there you can see here there is nothing so we will upload all these files from our system using our CLI. So here we have some set of commands in task six. So what I do, uh, this is my syntax. Okay, this is my syntax. I'll use this notepad. Okay, my bucket name. I'll replace with my bucket name with uh, Anand one two three, and copy this one. This is my index.html which will be going into the website um, i mean that is the website this is this will be the index okay so and then i will start uploading the files okay yeah it has registered this website so and so this is the website and index.html will be my my main file main file so now okay so i will start uploading all the files all the files 
into this bucket. Okay, so I just modify this one with my bucket name. So here my bucket needs to be replaced with the one k one two three. So don't change the directory. All the files, including CSS, images, index HTML, all the files will be uploaded into the bucket. Yeah. Upload is successful. Let us see that whether the files are there or not. Yeah. All the files has been uploaded. Right. Fantastic. So yes, you can view this even using AWS S3. Okay, AWS S3 LS and the bucket name. Okay, S3 colon slash slash colon KV 123. Okay, you should see all the files and folders. You see this one CSS images and index. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, so I think we have almost reached towards the end of uh, final testing. We need to do a final testing. So, what we need to do is that go to your bucket and you can see this uh, properties. Click this properties to know the website name of the website so just scroll down to the bottom to the bottom you see the static website which is uh, ready so here just copy the website name this is my bucket name on the ke123.s3 hyphen website this is the zone where you have hosted the availability zone and then yeah, amazon aws.com so i'll just paste this one you should see the website running across okay fantastic so that ends our lab. Yeah, we have task seven also optionally. If you want to change anything from the site which you have already, right? You have some index files also here. You can change accordingly, you can update, and then you can still upload this particular file, one of the file, and see there is a change into this particular file or not. Okay, some colors or etc. You can do that optionally. So that is about uh, the end of the lab. So once the lab is complete, you can press end. You can see the website is now running. Okay, website is now running. This is how we prepare uh, this uh, static website. Some important things which you want to know, the static website is being hosted. So some of the important things I'll tell you, like you can see this, uh, uh, what we call as, uh, go to this permissions. You often see this particular one. The permissions needs to be uh, public open. So you see this one, this is the condition is uh, by default it will be enabled okay but now this is disabled now off if it is on you have to make it off you see that there is a bucket policy okay we have some acls also you see this one these acls so these acls also needs to be modified otherwise you have to edit the policy and paste the policy exactly to this particular one you see this one you need to allow this policy so once you give an allow policy then automatically the web hosting can be done if you don't do automatically if you don't do it it won't be done in a manual way so that's all about this uh, uh, i mean this lab of what we call as uh, this creation of static website uh, on s3 bucket thank you everyone and bye